Welcome to the new TechView Vlog and as you can see here this is my Sony Xperia 10 Mark II device with a little bit of fingerprints here. Apropos fingerprints, let's check out the new sensor. If it were it's working so much better than the old sensor, I can tell you. And uh, let's get into a first impression of the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II and I show you my first impressions on the software. It allows me to choose if I want to install those applications so I don't get any bloatware. In this case I can say, oh, I don't want to install those. But at least I don't want to install this, the PlayStation app I don't need, Amazon, you know, sometimes I need it from Google Calculator, Google Sheets, Google News, Google Slides and Google Docs. Yeah, why not? Uh, Imaging Edge Mobile, I don't know what it is, but yeah, maybe Echo Weather, mm, I don't need this. The new suit by Sony is sometimes interesting to have. They have some interesting news sometimes. So let's go ahead and say install. So let's see, I installed all the updates um, for the different applications via the Google Play Store. Uh, you can see they're still downloading or installing, but before they all install, I want to show you the free space, the storage space. It comes, I think, with 128 gigabytes. And of those 128 gigabytes, 22.15, so 15 gigabytes are used. So 22 gigabytes are used already from the 128 gigabytes, 70 percent by default out of the box. Um, of course if you don't choose all the applications to be installed, like I didn't choose booking to be installed and so on, it might vary a little bit slightly but this is roughly what you can um, count with. One thing that I find a bit annoying is that Google informs me about new stuff and I really don't like Google to inform me about new stuff, news or something like this. I wonder if I can turn it off here somehow. Uh, reminders, settings, probably here, notifications. I don't want to get any notifications from Google. Another app that disappeared from Sony handsets apparently is the email app. Sony had an email app that I used on the Xperia 1. But you can see if I search for email I don't find anything. And I don't see any email app here, so apparently the Sony email app is gone as well. And it is uh, going to Gmail now, so it's using Gmail instead of uh, their own email app. The calendar app is still here, which is I think, no it's Google Calendar. Uh, yeah, Sony is going through a strip down when it comes to their own software. They keep some of the software things just like the 20 by 1 multi window stuff but uh, some other stuff is uh, missing and you have to they are relying on google stuff which is uh, interesting for those who like to have google um, plain vanilla android because this is pretty much uh, google plain vanilla android with a bit of sony influence inside and that's all Interesting is that uh, Sony by default, I took some pictures here, uh, has auto rotate off, which is interesting. They probably think that if you have this device like this, you don't want to take it in landscape mode. It's not supposed to be in landscape mode, only for watching videos, and it's doing this on their own anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, Sony, I want to have landscape mode, so I go to auto rotate, <laughs> and it's rotating automatically. Did I turn auto rotate on or off? I don't know. Oh, apparently, I turned it on. Um, so this is the ultra wide um, camera lens that I used for skin. Got it here. And as you can see here, oh, first shot with the ultra wide. This is the two times zoom telephoto. Oh, now the 10 is not really sharp. And I misfocused here. And this is the main lens. This is pretty sharp and looks good. I will test this camera of course and will do one of my extensive camera test reviews as well. So you might know it from other 
phones that I test usually. So far, first impression is a pretty good camera. As you can see, this camera comes with the old design. So I have the one times so I can click on here and two times zoom. And for the ultra wide, it takes uh, two times it's directly ultra wide. Oof, it takes a bit long. Um, what's with the slider? I can zoom in. Yeah, I can zoom in into the two times. And I think what happens if I want to go? I can also do this. So maybe this is the quicker way. Why didn't Sony just had three buttons here? I can switch to directly to the two and the wide angle one. So it's like on the Xperia One Mark Two. I don't get it. Anyway, this is the first impression of the camera app. What about the Pro apps? Are they here? No, they're not here. So. The pro apps are missing, so there's no photogra photography pro, the new app, or cinematography pro, cinema pro app, are missing from here, and I'm not sure if I can get them from the. Now I know why Sony had it locked into portrait mode. Um, let's go to here and search for. Cinema Pro. Yeah, it's not in here as you can see. There's no Cinema Pro app in here which I can use for the 10 Mark II device. And of course, the selfie test. First impression, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> you can see if I zoom in a bit, it's getting a bit unsharp here, but uh, it's not super bad I would say. So this is the selfie cam as you can see. Just as uh, also working I can switch between cameras like this or if I'm in landscape mode I can just switch like this. I can switch to video mode like this. So I like those gestures. They work pretty fine and good. There's no dedicated button for the shutter which is a uh, pity. Maybe they can do this uh, next time for the mid-range tier as well adding a button here just like I think it was on the Xperia X device they also had this button and dedicated shutter button which is nice otherwise I think I can use the zoom uh, the, the the volume for zooming which might be also interesting way to get into the ultra wide very quickly uh, I guess yeah step by step with the zoom buttons. Let's go into settings and see if we can change the buttons. There's a lens correction which is on for the ultra wide by default. And it, 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 it use uh, volume keys as zoom or I can use it as volume or as shutter button. So I have the option to use the volume keys as shutter button, which I prefer. I think a physical button is better than nothing. And yeah, here's the shot. Looks pretty nice for a dim lit room. A bit of noise creeping in here, but not bad, not bad. What's this button? Ah, takes me back to the camera. So this is the end of this video. You can see I have installed uh, several applications here already. And you can see I had to install a uh, light ring because it's getting too dark outside. Uh, the end of the first impressions video and first initial setup of my uh, device. If you have questions, just comment in the comment section. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.